I'm going to make this maze pattern. One of the things that I've done already is I've designed these four tiles. And these tiles all have one thing in common. They have a gateway at the north, the south, the east, and the west. Every one of them has that same configuration. So that's what makes them fit together no matter how they get arranged. And they're going to be randomly arranged to form a pattern like this. So the first thing I do is I take these patterns, and these are in 256 by 256 squares, and I say edit, define pattern, and I turn them into patterns. The next thing that I do is I'm then able to um, create an image, which is 4096 by 4096. And that means that it will tile in a 16 by 16 grid. So if we say if we say fill it with a color, that's what people normally do. Let's say we fill it with a color. That's a, something that you're used to seeing. But you can also create a new layer, one, two, three, four, and fill these layers with these repeating patterns. So edit, fill, and we'll say pattern, and we'll choose tile one. And the next thing we'll do is the same thing. Edit, fill, pattern, and we'll choose tile two. And then the next thing we'll do is edit, fill, pattern, tile three. And in this layer, edit, fill, pattern, tile four. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to have a 16 by 16 uh, array of noise. So file, new, 16 by 16. There are probably other ways of doing this, but I'm going to choose this method. So here's a little tiny box, and I'm going to say uh, filter, noise, add noise. And That looks pretty good, I guess. Say OK. And now I'm going to um, blow it up to 4096. Image, image size, and we're going to blow it up. But we're not going to say best cubic. We're going to say nearest neighbor. 4096, 4096, boom, there it is. Uh, fit screen, OK, nice. Now, what I want to do is um, image adjust levels, and we're going to um, make sure that we hit black and that we hit white. Okay. And then I'm going to say image, uh, I'm sorry, image adjust posterize, and I want it to go to four levels of posterization. So that's what it has done there. A little more white than I probably want, but I'm going to press forward. You can adjust the proportions of noise to suit your taste. Um, we'll see how it works out. Okay, Control A, Control C. We're going to hide that. Control V. Now it's on top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the magic wand tool and I'm going to set it to zero tolerance, and we'll start at uh, black. Here's black. Notice that it's set to not contiguous, um, and I'm going to ask for a for layer one. I'm going to ask for a layer mask, and uh, I'm going to do the same thing with layer two. And uh, we'll go to the next gray up. Hmm, I'm on the wrong layer. That's why. Excuse me. Need to be here. Uh, the next gray up is that. Okay, very good. And now I ask for a layer mask. Now we come back up to here again and we go to the next gray up, come back to here, ask for a layer mask, come back to here, ask for the white, come back to here, ask for a layer mask, get rid of that, 
and there is the maze. It's all been shuffled together. So you can see that that's one layer. These are the different contributions of the different layers. And uh, the noise has randomly put them all together, and there's a maze pattern.